There are a ton of great weapons in Fallout 4, but which ones are the best? Sure, the question will vary depending on how you spec out your perks, but we think we've come up with the 10 best weapons regardless of how you choose to fight. Kicking off our countdown is the Righteous Authority. The laser rifle is one of the best weapons you can get early on in the game. Acquiring it is also easy too. Go and meet up with Paladin Dance early on at the Cambridge Police Station and do some work for him. Once you complete the mission Call to Arms, he'll reward you with the weapon. Righteous Authority's damage isn't outrageous, but it's easily upgradable as you continue to progress through the game, keeping it viable. And it has the legendary weapon effect that allows crits to deal double damage and the crit meter fills 15% faster. An important couple of stats when using bats early on in the game. Next, at number 9 is Spray and Pray. Some might think it's a little odd to see this on the list, but in all honesty, it's a pretty good gun to have. Spray and Pray is as good as it gets when it comes to the submachine guns, which is another early-ish game gun that can be used with good effect. What makes Spray and Pray good is its legendary weapon effect that causes its bullets to explode on impact, dealing 15 points of AoE damage. In a crowded area, Spray and Pray can cut through multiple enemies. To get Spray and Pray, you'll need to find Cricket, the traveling merchant, who can be found outside of Diamond City most of the time. Offer up enough caps and this gun is all yours. At number 8 is Lorenzo's Artifact Gun. When it comes to Gamma Gun weapons, this one is by far the best. Lorenzo's Artifact Gun is the best of the variety due to its special trait that stuns and knocks back enemies on hit, and the knockback damage is the reason it's elevated above the other Gamma weapons. Even with enemies that can resist the rad damage, the explosive component of the weapon is still deadly to them. A few simple upgrades makes this weapon even better with perks in Demolition, Nuclear Physicist, and Science. When it comes to acquiring the weapon, you'll need to first meet Cabot at Cabot House in the north part of downtown. Run the missions he has for you, and at the end of all of it, he'll award you with this awesome gun. In at number 7 is the Furious Power Fist. One of our favorite and most powerful melee weapons in the game. The Furious Power Fist helps deal a lot of damage due to its increased damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. So if you know you're going to have to hit someone more than once, it's nice to know you'll be hitting them harder and harder over and over. To acquire the Furious Power Fist, you will need to go to Swan Pond in downtown and kill Swan for the Power Fist. Once you have it, you'll be ready to knock enemies on their butts over and over. Number 6 in our countdown brings us Reba 2. Now Reba 2 is better than Reba, the original, because of its legendary weapon effect of dealing 50% more damage against Mirelurks and Bugs. Now that doesn't sound like the world's greatest perk on a gun, but it does help since Mirelurks can be annoying. But more importantly, this is the fastest way to get a really well modified 50 caliber sniper rifle depending on your current level. To get Reba 2, you will need to help out Barney at the Rook family house in Salem. Reba 2 will come in either a 308 or a 50 cal configuration depending on your level, and will either have a long scope or the long recon scope, once again depending upon your level. Reba 2 in its top spec packs a huge punch against all enemies and is a fast way to get a good sniper rifle. At the halfway point on our list is the Alien Blaster Pistol. This unique weapon can be looted after killing the alien who is hiding in a cave just outside of his crashed spaceship just north of Vault 81. The alien blaster has an alright rate of fire, but more than enough power behind each shot. Ammo for the blaster is limited since it uses special alien blaster rounds, but luckily the gun isn't junk once you run out. If you are at least level 41 and have 4 points in science, you can modify the blaster to use fusion cells. The blaster also has other modifications available at your workstation, which helps make this weapon even better. Let's send things back before the Great War with number 4 on our list, the Deliverer. Deliverer is a compact semi-automatic 10mm pistol that is awarded to you after completing the railroad quest Tradecraft. Apart from exceptional base damage for a pistol, the rate of fire from which it can shoot is outrageously good and it has a legendary weapon effect that increases VAT's hit chance while using 25% less action points. It comes equipped with a silencer and there are some upgrades available, although not as many as your standard 10mm pistol, but its unique effect, its awesome looks, and its rate of fire make this an essential gun for anyone who is a fan of using VATs. Next on our list is the Overseer's Guardian. 
picking this gun for the number three spot comes with a disclaimer. We've put the Overseer's Guardian in here because we think it's the best representative for all of the two-shot projectile guns in Fallout. The Overseer's Guardian is sold inside of Vault 81 by Alexis Combs. Now as sold, I'll be the first to say that I'm not the biggest fan of its current modification, but with a little tinkering at your own workbench, you can set this combat rifle up exactly how you want it with as many mods as you can choose from. I went with a 308 receiver, a short barrel, recoil stock, quick eject magazine, and glow sight. This combo makes it work well in almost any situation, and a powerful companion to have in the wasteland. One of Fallout's most celebrated weapons is the Fat Man, but now you can take things to the next level by purchasing the Big Boy from Arturo in Diamond City Market. What makes the Big Boy so much better than the standard Fat Man is its legendary weapon effect allowing it to fire an additional projectile. This means a second mini nuke, but for only the cost of one. Big Boy's damage output is outrageous and works wonders in huge battles. And if you really want to take things up to the next level, you can still add the MIRV mod that will allow it to shoot 12 mini nukes. Unfortunately, it doesn't shoot 16 mini nukes, but 12's pretty good, so we'll take it. And at number one, we have the last minute. This Goss rifle takes our number one spot due to the consistency it brings us in combat. The last minute has amazing base damage, not only because it's a Goss rifle, but also because it comes modified when purchased. To get your hands on this powerful weapon, you'll want to talk with Ronnie Shaw at the castle after completing the quest Old Guns. But the reason we like the last minute more than a generic Goss rifle is for its damage mods it has and the legendary weapon effect of dealing 50% increased damage to limbs. It's a nice bonus to have, but honestly, it doesn't really matter because they're usually dead right after you pull the trigger. Are there any weapons that you like to use that you think could be added to our list? Let us know in the comments down below. Till next time, enjoy the game.